Welcome to another two-minute lesson. Today's lesson is on microbial-induced corrosion. MIC is a corrosion type that is harmful to most engineering materials. MIC deteriorates the metal surfaces through the metabolic activity of microorganisms. Since the 19th century, scientists have been trying to explain the role of microorganisms in corrosion. The damage due to MIC is broken down into a three-step process, creation of biofilm, change of environment at the metal surface, and deterioration of the metal. The common bacteria associated with MIC are sulfate-reducing bacteria, acid-producing bacteria, and iron-reducing bacteria. The most common forms of corrosion influenced by MIC are pitting corrosion, crevice corrosion, and stress corrosion cracking. When conditions for growth are favorable, spores germinate, fungi degrade a variety of organic materials, including hydrocarbons, foodstuffs, and wood, and produce organic acids, including oleic, lactic, acetic, and citric. Microorganisms do not directly consume metals in the way that they do various types of organic substances. It is rather that aggressive environments are created by certain types of microorganisms as byproducts of their energy obtaining metabolism. Microorganisms can be viewed as catalytic entities, bringing about the chemical reactions that would otherwise not occur because of their high activation energy. Such processes may involve the production of aggressive chemical agents such as acids or the consumption of substances that are important in corrosion reactions. Alternatively, the physical presence of microorganisms may form a slime, leading to differential aeration corrosion or crevice corrosion. Some microorganisms also chemically break down the desirable physical properties of lubricating oils and protective coatings. MIC treatment, a very new aspect of treatment, will be based on the possibility of using bacteria against bacteria, or more generally speaking, biological treatment of MIC. This has been another two-minute lesson. Check back next Sunday for a new lesson.